Syrian Arab army continues operations in destroying terrorist dens. Terrorists of the Islamic State of Iraq and Asham, the proxy of Al Qaeda, dig and destroy Islamic shrines in Al Bab City in Aleppo countryside. And demonstrations in Darna City in Libya, calling for the armed security groups to leave the city. Good afternoon, this is news in English from the Syrian Arab Television in Damascus. After the big losses of the armed terrorist groups by the Syrian Arab Army in Dar Atiyah and Qara, the terrorists attacked Martakla Monastery in the archaeological town of Malula in Damascus countryside. The armed terrorist groups stormed the monastery and held the head of the monastery, Pilaj Sayyaf, a number of nuns and the orphans in the monastery hostages. The terrorists also terrified the citizens in the area and shot at citizens in the areas surrounding the monastery and the town's neighborhoods. Moving to Aleppo, where the Syrian Arab army restored security and stability in the town of Tayyara to the southeastern countryside of the city, as well as the buildings of communications in Naqarin town. There were clashes with armed terrorist gangs entrenched in the nearby areas which separate the north and south regions. The terrorists destroyed the electric power supply lines in an attempt to cut off the electric current from the city of Aleppo. The silos in the area were looted and sabotaged. The buildings of communications was also systematically destroyed by the terrorist gangs entrenched therein. A military source said that the Syrian Arab army eliminated an armed terrorist group, including 35 terrorists in Bustan al Basha near As Salam Mosque in Barzay neighborhood in Damascus. The Syrian, the Syrian Arab army continued its advance against terrorist gangs in Nabuk. It has moved towards the northern part of Al Qalamun and inflicting heavy casualties on the terrorists in the farms of Rima in the area of Yabrut. The terrorists controlled Al Qalamun Hospital before the army chased them away and restored security. Doctors and medical staff at the hospital said they were subjected to crimes and bad treatment by the terrorists. The military units also restored security and safety to the international highway within a few hours. The whole area of Annabek will be completely freed from the armed terrorist groups and announced a secure and safe area. The Syrian army units destroyed terrorist groups and hideouts, killing and wounding dozens of them in the quarters of the vill and villages of Homs. A military source said that the army stormed terrorist hideouts in Bab Hood near the National Hospital and the school of Khadija al-Kubra in Al-Qusur area. Terrorist groups sustained heavy casualties in the villages of Talas and Taldaw and to the south of the graveyard while their hideout near the municipal field and Arrastan were completely destroyed. Also in Homs countryside, the Syrian Arab army stormed terrorist hideouts in the area of Psera in Palmyra and killed many of the terrorists entrenched there. They also confiscated communication equipment and Israeli-made lab rockets. After the successive defeats of the terrorists in Al Qalamun, starting from Sadad, Mahin, to Dar Atiyah and the Palmyra mountains, the Syrian Arab army continued its advance strongly and attacked terrorist hideouts in the area of Psera, killing and wounding large numbers of them and confiscating two vehicles carrying machine guns, RBGs and Israeli rockets. Terrorists of the so-called Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, who belong to Al-Qaeda, continued their vicious crimes, destroying Islamic shrines in the town of Al-Bab in Aleppo countryside. On a videotape on the internet, this terrorist organization officially admitted that it destroyed more than seven Islamic and Sufi shrines, mostly in Al Bab during last October, under the pretext that these shrines contradicted Islam, according to the claims of these terrorists. The tape showed how these terrorists sabotaged the shrines, dug the graves, and destroyed the contents of these places. One of these terrorists claimed that these shrines were being worshipped. The destroyed shrines included the graves of Sheikh Aqal, Sheikh Ajan, Al-Hadid, Sheikh Muhammad Nasan, 
and Sheikh al-Badawi in Aleppo. Those notables confronted the diabolic plots of the terrorists who burned graves. These crimes are part of the systematic terrorist attacks against such holy Islamic shrines, which included the grave of Hajar bin Adi al-Kindi, companion of Prophet Muhammad. The terrorists also fired mortar shells repeatedly against the shrine of Sayyida Zainab. They also attacked churches in Damascus and Aleppo, destroying crosses and pictures of the Virgin Mary. A set of cautious quiet prevailed in the Lebanese town of Tripoli this morning, while the sound of bullets continued to be heard every now and then particularly snipers, fire against the international highway. Movement was almost paralyzed and shops, schools and colleges remained closed. Last night witnessed violent clashes with machine guns, rockets and mortar shells causing the death of nine people and the wounding of nearly 50 others. In occupied Palestine, a number of Palestinians were hit by Israeli bullets fired by the Zionist forces of occupation which stormed the town of Abu Dis to the east of occupied Jerusalem. In Yabud, the southwest of Jenin, the Israeli forces detained eight Palestinians after storming their houses. The Israeli armored vehicles opened fire intensively with heavy machine guns on Palestinian lands, houses and innocent citizens to the southeast of Khan Yunus in the Gaza Strip. In Libya and in rejection of the control of Darana in the east by the armed fanatic extremists, scores of people took to the streets in angry demonstrations calling for kicking out these terrorists. They called upon the army to stop the series of murders and explosions in the city since the NATO invasion of the country in 2011. Most Libyan cities have been suffering from chaos and armed terrorist attacks in addition to the weak position and attitude of the new authorities in the country. As part of youth initiatives, to support their country during the crisis, a bazaar was opened at Ajala, a sports city in Damascus. With the aim of supporting the displaced families or those who were affected as a result of the war on Syria, a bazaar was opened at Ajala, a sports city in Damascus, and it was organized by the Baina Nida group in cooperation with several volunteers from the public and private sectors. Uh, the returns of this uh, market, uh, this charity market, will uh, go to uh, support uh, other people who are affected by the Syrian crisis. Labain Inda is a supporting group that was active uh, during the crisis two years ago. Uh, in this uh, market we have three main sections. The first section is for uh, positive uh, intervention uh, in six uh, food groups that every family needs. Uh, we sell them in a very low price. Uh, in the second section we have a, a very good uh, quality clothes, also we sell it at a very low price. Uh, and the third section uh, is for the uh, people from the uh, civil society uh, who are uh, offering their handmade products. Visitors flocked to the market to benefit from the low price offers, whether for food, clothes or even for handmade products. Our products are 100% natural. We have branches in all governorates, offering products for hair and skin care, and also for treatment of different diseases. We are responsible for the sheltering centers. We are the Syrian Trust for Development. Our intention is to reduce the price of many food items, such as oil, rice, tea, and others. Several paintings and handmade works were also among the offers presented in the market. I participated in the market to support our country in order to turn the movement in the market. My products are some paintings and oriental works offered at very low prices. Part of the event was dedicated for the entertainment of children by presenting magic and interesting shows, attracting more and more visitors every day. Uh, actually, it's one of the very special events that I'm participating in recently. It's a massive event that the people are insane about the prices. Uh, every I, I can see that in their look, uh, they are really happy. The market, which was opened on Friday, will continue until the end of the week.
Responding to the country's call, this activity was held at Ajala Sports City to use its revenue for the help of the people who were affected by the war on Syria. And this is Sousan Badr for Syrian Television News in English. A cultural event organized by the Iraqi Cultural Forum and Suriana Group took place inside Damascus, the Syrian capital, held artistic and musical activities as well as some lectures about Syria and Iraq, common cultural vision. At the Iraqi Cultural Center, in cooperation with Suriana Group, an event full of art, music, culture and other activities took place inside Damascus, the capital. The participants were of different genders, backgrounds and ages. They were not just Iraqi but Syrian as well, with an interest of cultural matters shared by Syria and Iraq. about our region from historical point of view as well as the Syrian Iraqi common values and visions were given at the end of the event I think Syria is for all Syrian uh, we are a Syrian we are Chalde Chaldeanian we are Babylonian and we are uh, Hitti and Ghassani and Arabs so all of us and I forgot the Kurds but Kurds are also in this uh, wonderful mosaic, which is Syria. Syria has 10,000 years of age, 600 civilizations. So we have to reappropriate our history, our thought, our uh, civilization, and to have confidence in ourselves and build our country. Here is Iraq, but this time in Syria. This event has gathered us with one goal, one sorrow, and one purpose, to feel safe and build our country with culture. Kinda Youssef, News in English, Damascus. And with culture, we end our news for today. For more details, you can visit our website in English, www.syrianonline.sy. Now stay with us after the break, the latest in economy and finance in our economic news. And demonstrations in Darna city in Libya, calling for the armed security groups to leave the city. Good afternoon, this is News in English from the Syrian Arab Television in Damascus. After the big losses of the armed terrorist groups by the Syrian Arab <music> Syrian Arab Army continues operations in destroying terrorist dens. Terrorists of the Islamic State of Iraq and Asham, the proxy of Al-Qaeda, dig and destroy Islamic shrines in al Bab city in Aleppo countryside. The army in Dar Atiyah and Qara, the terrorists attacked Martakla Monastery in the archaeological town of Malula in Damascus countryside. The armed terrorist groups stormed the monastery and held the head of the monastery, Pilaj Asayaf, a number of nuns and the orphans in the monastery hostages. The terrorists also terrified the citizens in the area.